Listen, every time I get a lead Mission Hills, like um, I get super excited and I also get terrified. It, it really is um, a beautiful community. It's one of the most gorgeous. I've been to 38 states for construction. It's one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. It, it's a challenging place to work. And so um, in Mission Hills, a couple things. One, you have to have a Johnson County contractor permit. And if you don't have a Johnson County contractor, you need to have a residential contractor license to pull a permit in Mission Hills. And that's not even enough, by the way. You need to get um, A or B approval. And so you need to sit, submit design renderings of all four sides of the house. Sometimes they want you to have survey plans done. You need to have intricate detail, every size, every window, every size of the hardy, what products you're gonna use, detail scope. And so when I submit a job at Mission Hills, sometimes I'm submitting 150 pages of documents, okay? That's also why, by the way, I've never had a job, I never had the A or B deny a job at Mission Hills or reject something at Mission Hills. The other thing to know is even if the city approves something, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, if it doesn't meet their ARB guidelines, they'll make you rip it off even if they approved it. Even if the city approves your permit, if it doesn't meet their architectural guidelines, it'll still be an issue. And by the way, they, they don't really have architectural guidelines. It's kind of whatever they want, whenever they want it. And so like, I've done several jobs there. They're gorgeous homes. It really does take extra planning. So I tell people, it's okay if you're not gonna hire a fairway. Please hire a contractor that's done several jobs in Mission Hills. Please hire a contractor that's gone through the process. Please hire a contractor that's not gonna leave you high and dry. And, and once you go through the process, the city's actually fantastic to work with. Like once you go through it, they're very easy. Um, you know, like they do make you wait on change orders. You do have to get everything reapproved. but like as long as you know the rules and follow them, they're very easy to deal with. We do have to go through several inspections though, by the way. So we need to go through pre-construction, framing, house wrap, final inspection. And so it's just making sure that you work with a contractor who's organized, who knows what's going on, who can do the, the foresight design rendering, who could work with the submittal process. And so, I, I mean, I live in Fairway, hence Fairway Exteriors, and I do want to work in Mission Hills because I'm close there, but you know, it does require more things from, from any contractor's end. So as a homeowner, you need to have the right expectation going in that this isn't a, you meet with someone and you can just go do it. Because the reality is, is that um, every product that we're gonna submit, it depends on what the, the, the ARB says. And I'll give you an example, like you can't use hardy shingle in Mission Hills, but you could use hardy lap siding, you could use hardy panel. On some houses, you can't, you can't put shutters. Some houses you can. And so it really depends on kind of knowing the city, being able to work with them, knowing what they want, and then knowing how to ask for things, knowing how to position things to them. Yeah. You can't get angry and say, well, the whole across the street did it. That, that doesn't help sway them. They're just gonna go make your neighbor take it off and then, and then your neighbor hates you uh, versus tell you you could do it too. And so um, it, you just wanna make sure that you work with a contractor who's worked there before and kind of knows the rules that they, that they play by.